This is Equatorial Guinea. As of 2023, it is the least visited country in Africa and the third in the world with less than 6,000 visitors annually. Nauru and Tuvalu currently holds the first and second positions respectively of the least visited countries in the world, with Nauru receiving less than 1,000 visitors per year. In Africa, the title of the least most visited country goes to Equatorial Guinea, followed by Sao Tome and Principe. Equatorial Guinea is a country located on the west coast of Central Africa, the country is one of the smallest countries on mainland Africa, with a surface area of 28,000 square kilometers, and a population of over 1.6 million people. Its capital city Malabo, is totally detached from the mainland and is situated in the Atlantic Ocean besides the city of Limba in Cameroon. Though a very small country, Equatorial Guinea is one of the most developed countries in Africa in terms of infrastructures, like road networks. The country has a GDP per capita of $8,200 which is one of the highest in Africa, but surprisingly the level of widespread poverty in the country is alarming, with most of its citizens living on less than a dollar a day. Spanish is the official language of the country and its current president, Abiyang Gaiman Bazogo, is the longest-serving president in the world. He is a dictator who has been the president of Equatorial Guinea for close to 45 years. According to statistics, Equatorial Guinea receives less than 6,000 visitors annually. This is the lowest number for an African country. Even less popular countries like Mauritania, Cape Verde and Sao Tome and Principe receives more tourists than Equatorial Guinea. So the big question is, why? Why does a country with a beautiful climate, friendly people and peaceful, receive less people per year? Before we dive in, please subscribe to the channel and turn on notification so you don't miss any of our videos. 1. Lack of tourist attractions and marketing. Equatorial Guinea is a very small country, filled with forests and mangroves. Unlike other countries, almost nothing of note is happening in Equatorial Guinea. The entertainment industry is nothing to write home about, its beaches are not the fanciest, its political atmosphere is a mess, and the list goes on. The country has little or no tourist attractions apart from a few national parks here and there, so there is very little to do whilst visiting the country. The government of Equatorial Guinea has given little to no attention to the tourism sector because according to them, it contributes almost nothing to the country's GDP, rather, they focus on petroleum which is the driving force of the country's economy. How can the tourism industry grow and produce, if little or no attention is given to the industry? The truth is, there are a few places to visit here and there, but even the few places where people can visit whilst in Equatorial Guinea has little or no marketing. Some of the most visited countries in the world today didn't just happen by chance, a lot of strategic planning and marketing went into making the country popular. In Africa, Rwanda for example is a success story today because it was very intentional with the marketing of its country. It initiated campaigns like Visit Rwanda, where it partnered with airlines, football clubs and influencers to sell the country and change the negative narratives. Same thing with South Africa and Mauritius. Today, these countries are some of the most visited countries in Africa. Equatorial Guinea can leverage on its few attractions and copy the models of countries like the UAE, Rwanda, Qatar and South Africa just to mention a few. If it worked for these countries, it can work for Equatorial Guinea. Also, the fact that Equatorial Guinea is the only country in Africa that has Spanish as their official language, greatly hinders the spread of information across the African continent. The media of Equatorial Guinea needs to help sell the country. Also, the fact that its capital city, which is the most beautiful city in the country is detached from its mainland makes it difficult for tourists to move from one city to another. Another reason why very few people visit the country is because Equatorial Guinea does not have a functional national carrier, and very few flights are scheduled to Equatorial Guinea, which makes it difficult to know when a flight is scheduled. Less than five reputable airlines fly to Equatorial Guinea, which makes it difficult for non-Africans to visit the country. Despite the fact that the country is under a dictatorship regime, Equatorial Guinea is a safe country with beautiful climate and friendly people. If you have always wanted to visit the country and didn't know where to go or what to do, here are a few places to visit in Equatorial Guinea, apart from its capital city, Malabo. 1. Monte Allen National Park. This is a stunning place for animals and birds lovers. This amazing safari experience would just never let you step out of this place. The dense and beautiful national park, filled and rich with the most stunning and glorious species of wild animals would make you go crazy and excited. 
You can watch the gracious elephants, gorillas, chimpanzees, crocodiles, huge hippos and each of the giant and stunning wildlife creatures. 2. Visit Mocha Valley. This amazing valley has breathtaking and scenic views which would make you feel so fresh and excited. This beautiful toe of Mocha, blessed with a beautiful valley and stunning scenic views is just mesmerizing. The cloud-touching peaks of the mountains and the deep valleys would just look marvelous and glorious during the adorable sunrises and sunsets. 3. Bata Cathedral. This amazing cathedral is the part of a church and other three cathedrals. This beautiful place is rich and showcases the rich heritage of the place. If you love to visit various beautifully designed and sculpted cathedrals, you must visit this awesome cathedral and fall in love with this beautiful place. 4. Arena Blanca. This awesome beach would just give you such amazing views and experience which you would never forget. The stunning and pleasant weather of this place is filled with the positive and pleasing vibes which would glorify your complete trip experience. Visit this amazing beach and have the stunning sunbath while enjoying the free and blissful days of your vacations. 5. Bini. This beautiful place near the river Benoti is just scenic and simply stunning. This awesome town is very well known for the delicious and stunning seafood it serves. What can be a more stunning and beautiful experience than visiting this glorious riverside town and enjoying the amazing seafood? 6. Ilobi Grande. This divine and blissful island on the banks of the river Mightmeal is just so lucrative and attractive. This amazing example of the traditional Spanish territory is just flawless and beautiful. The water of this amazing island is simply pure and immensely divine. Visit this flawless place and enhance your trip experience making it more memorable and stunning. 7. Pico Bosile. This immensely beautiful area surrounded with the sky-touching hills and the breathtaking greenery would just steal your heart and would never want you leave this stunning place. This stunning island of Bioko is just awesome and would get you all the beautiful and scenic pleasure. The amazing volcanoes and the beautiful paths and tracks would simply make you fall in love with this mesmerizing place. 8. Ilobi Chico. This beautiful island on the shore of the Mightmeal River is fascinating enough to drag you to this awesome place. The beauty of this place is simply unexplainable with the beautiful location the wonderful and scenic visions. You can go boating in the mills and calm waters of this stunning place and have such a memorable and stunning experience. 9. Iglesia de San Fernando. If you love to visit the cathedrals and churches, here is a stunning masterpiece church which would open the books of historic Guinea you would love to read. This amazing church has the ancient and beautiful decor which looks the best during Christmas and festivals. Visit this amazing place in your vacations and you would fall in love with Equatorial Guinea. 10. Altos and Sork National Park. Established in 2000, the vast reserve encompasses more than 700 square kilometers of land, offering some of the most untouched jungle and highland ecosystems in the region. There aren't many visitors to this far-flung section of the nation, but those who do come can hike through paths cut out by forest elephants, wander at the great biodiversity of plants, spy out mandrills and black colobus monkeys in the trees, and even rare buffalo in the woods. To conclude, Equatorial Guinea has a lot of potentials to becoming the most visited country in Africa, but the government of the country needs to start paying attention to the tourism industry, because a lot of economies strife off their tourism industries.